Hey everybody, it's time for another one, another video in the complete collection series that I'm doing. This time I'm going to do, since my first not really feeling great, I don't want to do much. We're going to do my oversized hardback collection, which isn't all that much. It's these here and, and two other places. All right, here we go. And to start off, we're going to start off with the majority of my omnibus collection. Starting off with Batgirl, the Batgirl Returns Omnibus by Gail Simone. This one I'm not even going to try to one hand that because this thing is massive. If you'd like to read the back, there it is. Just pause it real quick. The Before Watchmen Omnibus. Good God, this is huge. I've actually still never read this one. I've had it for like a year and have not read it yet. Just have not taken the time. Before Watchmen. Read that there. And Daredevil by Frank Miller. This is the companion omnibus. You can read that there if you'd like. It has the Born Again storyline in there with the story behind Daredevil Season 3. Sorry, I'm kind of sick right now. I'm <coughs> sorry. So this might take a little bit longer than I expected. But next we have Daredevil The Man Without Fear by Brian Michael Bendis, Volume Omnibus number one, volume one. Hold on a second. It's to come off. And there's the back of that one, if you'd like. Then we have Daredevil by Brian Michael Bendis, volume two. Omnibus two. Whichever you'd like. There's that. We can go back to DC for a second. We have Deathstroke, the new 52 omnibus. And there's the back of that one, if you'd like to pop and read it. Then continue with DC, we have The Flash by Jeff Johns. Jeff Johns, Volume 1, Omnibus 1, Wally West, Flash. Then we have The Flash by Jeff Johns, Omnibus Volume 2, Waiting on Omnibus Volume 3. Oh dear, that sounded not good. There's the back there, if you want to pause and read it. Now this one, this one, I probably won't, I'll probably won't even be able to pick up with two hands. But we're going to try, because this thing's the biggest book I own. Oh, God. Green Arrow, The Long Bow Hunter's Saga, Omnibus Volume 1. This thing is, it's like 1,600-something pages long. It's, it's massive. It's as, it's as thick as my four fingers. It's ridiculous. It's a really good story, though. It's an amazing story. I can't wait for the second volume, because it's going to be really, I can't wait to read it. There's that. And... We have Green Lantern by Jeff Johns, Volume Omnibus Volume Two. I have a, I ordered Volume One the same time I ordered this, but then they canceled my order of Volume One and just sent Volume Two. So I've still got to get a copy of Volume One before I can even start this. But this has, um, if I remember right, this has Blackest Night in it. There's that. And last and certainly not least in the Omnibus division, we have Star Wars Doctor Afra Omnibus. There's the back of that one if you'd like to pause and read it. Now we'll get into a few of my favorite things, starting off with my favorite Marvel character of all time. We have Doctor Strange, Volume 1 by Aaron, by Jason Aaron. This is the oversized volume that collects uh, Terry Paperback Volumes 1 and 2. Very interesting take on the character. I love Jason Aaron's run. I know not so many people did, but I personally loved it. And this is Volume 2, hardcover. Read the back. And honestly, I would love to see them adapt his last days of magic as the, um, for a third Doctor Strange movie. If they were to ever do that, that, or have Matt Mickelson come back as Nightmare. If you want to hear my theory on how they could bring him back, it's, I have to say, I, I was impressed with myself that night at 2 a.m. when I came up with that. But anyways, next we come to Doctor Strange by Donnie Cates. This one wasn't quite as good as Jason Aaron's, but it was still great. You can pause that there if you'd like to read it. And another Doctor Strange, we have Doctor Strange the Oath. This was a local comic shop day exclusive hardcover edition. It has all new bonus material and has a and the actual art on the book itself is a little different from what a normal a normal copy is. It's very beautiful. Next we come to the graphic novel adaptation of Rogue One, a Star Wars story. 
So you'll notice these are all in alphabetical order. Pause out there and read it if you want. <coughs> Next we have volume one of Sp or um, Spider-Man Deadpool by Joe Kelly, hardcover. This was actually very hard to find. I'm shocked that I found it at a estate sale while I was out on vacation, found it. They were selling it for like five bucks. I was like, uh, yes, 100%, gimme. Next we come to a little more Star Wars or Star Wars Han Solo, hardcover edition. There's that, if you wanna pause and read it. And Star Wars Kanan, very fun story. A great um, kind of prequel to Star Wars Rebels. It's really good. If you enjoy Rebels, I highly recommend this. It's very good. And then we come to one of my favorite collections that I own. I have all 13 volumes of I of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW collection. Each one is a little different. This is volume one. They all follow the kind of same design principle. They have one character on the, they have a character um, kind of profile for the front and back. They highlight on a certain character because in the volume, that character has a highlight. Is basically the highlight of the volume with Leo there in vo on volume three. Donatello on volume four. April O'Neil on volume five. The Shredder on volume six. Mikey on volume seven. We bop a rock steady on volume eight. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Slash on volume nine. Cr Krang on volume ten. Casey Jones on volume 11. Old Hob on volume 12. And last and certainly not least, we have Jenica, the first girl Ninja Turtle on volume 13. Or, sorry, woman, woman Ninja Turtle. Her story in this is actually really amazing. It's very good. I cannot wait for volume 14 to be at least announced because they haven't even <laughs> announced if it's if it's coming or not, which they should. There are more comics left. But um, yeah, there's that. We'll move on to the next stack. And now for even more Marvel, we have Brian Michael Bendis' The Avengers Heroic Age with a cover art from the original, the OG Avengers movie. We have Civil War again with the MCU cover. We have Daredevil by Chip. I'm not even going to try to murder his last name. Uh, to Heaven Through Hell, Volume 1. This series is amazing. I've read through all of it. I'm mainly just collecting these because these are just beautiful books. Can't wait for the second one to come. I think it come. Wait, did it come out? It might have already come out. I missed it. I might have to go check back. Um, then we have Dark Knight's Death Metal. Deluxe Edition. This is a Barnes Noble Exclusive Edition. Comes with a lithograph. There's the back there. Then we have Fantastic Four by Dan Slott. Uh, hardcover Volume 1. So, I, I've heard good and bad things about this, but I personally, I really enjoy this series. Then we have The Flash, number 750 Deluxe Edition. The Flash turns 80. Uh, old. Yeah. Then we have Green Arrow, The Archer's Quest Deluxe Edition. Then we have Guardians of the Galaxy by Brian Michael Bendis. And this is obviously the movie cover of it. I like movie covers, but not a lot of people do. I understand why, but it's all right. Then we have Hawkeye Volume 3 by Jeff Lemire. Team Hawkeye, no more. What? Then about one of the maybe three X-Men comics I have, House of X, Powers of X. Right, Powers of X, yeah, Powers of X, I'm making sure. In the new run, or the current run. Then we have Mortal Hulk, 
volume one hardcover with that stunning Alex Ross cover. Then let's go to another stunning Alex Ross cover with Immortal Hulk hardcover volume two. And Immortal Heart Hulk. Hulk volume three hardcover. And this series is also amazing. I read through all of it. Again, just collecting these books because they're beautiful. Then we have Miss Marvel, Volume 2, hardcover, with my girl, Captain Marvel, on the back. Then we have Miss Marvel, hardcover, Volume 3. Care away yet. Then we have Nightwing Rebirth Deluxe Edition, Book 1. And Nightwing Re Rebirth Deluxe Edition, Book 3. I gotta get Book 2. Then we have The Sandman by Neil Gaiman, the Deluxe Edition Book 1 from DC Black Label. Which has just all three of these have absolutely beautiful covers. I cannot wait for books four and five. I think that'll be, I don't think there'll be a sixth one, but I'm not sure. The Sandman Deluxe Edition Book 2, again with a stunning artwork. And then it's a stunning story, so it deserves stunning artwork. Makes sense. Then book three. Then we have Secret Empire. Elijah. We have Swamp Thing, Roots of Terror. Love Swamp Thing. This is an amazing set of stories. Then we have Venom by Donny Cates, Hardcover Volume 1. Again, a very fun story. I enjoy it. Waiting for Volume 3 because here is Volume 2. With the wings and absolute carnage there on the back, even though the absolute carnage crossover issue is not in this for some reason, I still don't understand why. And then Wonder Woman Year One, the deluxe edition, and then Wonder Woman number 750, the deluxe edition. And we have one last stack to get to. And here we are at the last stack, and I say it like that because this isn't an actual stack. This is actually from three, This is these are actually books from three different places, but there's just so few in those three places that I decided just to combine them all together. Starting off with Skyward, the complete collection hardcover. It's actually a very interesting story. If you've never read it, I highly recommend it. It's about what happens when Earth's gravity gets so low that you can basically jump around like you're on the moon. And one day, people decide to turn gravity back on. It's very interesting. Highly recommend. If you get the chance, try it out. Next, we have the Marvel Cinematic Universe Guidebook, Volume 1, The Avengers Initiative. And the Marvel Cinematic Universe Guidebook, Volume 2, The Good, The Bad, and The Guardians. Then, continuing with Marvel, we have Marvel 1602, the 10th Anniversary Hardcover Edition. Got to love, got to love Neil Gaiman. And then we come to the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, the Occult Edition, with the show's cover. Still sad that show's over, but we'll be, but now I have to catch up on Riverdale to see her in season six, which is a show I haven't watched since. I watched the first two and a half seasons. Now I have to watch the the rest to get caught up because I want to see what they do with her. Next, we come to some actual oversized hardcovers with the D my DC Black Label collection, or most of it. We have Wonder Woman Dead Earth. Then we have Superman Year One, which I don't even like Superman. I don't, if I'm being completely honest, I don't really care for Frank Miller either. I know, that's kind of out there. Everyone says I'm crazy because that. I'm just like, I don't care. I don't really care for his stories. But I've read... Quite a few. Then we have the question, the deaths of Vic Sage. Freaking amazing. Jeff Lemire with another absolute banger. With one of my favorite kind of not very well known characters. We have Joker, Killer Smile. Then we have Joker Harley, Criminal Sanity. I have not read this one yet. Just got this one in the mail about two, three days ago. For good things though. Then we come to Constantine with Hellblazer, Rise, and Fall. And these books are, I'm telling you, if you're not read the Black Label books, some of these books are dark. 
like really dark. This one's not. This Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey, The Hunt for Harley. It's not that dark. It's fun. It's funny as hell though. Let, I laugh my ass off of that one. Then we come to another kind of dark one with Harleen. I wish I could have got the first edition that has the kind of see-through cover. Would have been nice to have, but it's still an amazing book. Again, very dark, but it's very not nice. very very interesting story or re retelling of her origin. Then we have again we have some real oversized hardcovers with Absolute Swamp Thing by Alan Moore, Volume One. Got to get Volume Two at some point because it's absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous. I mean, just look at that. That's beautiful. And then the this is the case for the book. Let's see if I can actually get the book out. Uh, want to break anything you can go there but anyways this book is just it's amazing and it feels listen to that feels so soft so it's so fluffy I mean look into these eyes I mean it's just absolutely absolutely gorgeous book and an absolutely gorgeous story it's amazing then we come to Buffy the book of the vampire slayer season 12 complete collection library edition I gotta get season 11 somehow. I love these library editions of the books, but I can never find any for prices I'm willing to pay. I got this one when it was new, so I got lucky there. In another library edition, we have both the Vampire Slayer Tales. Found this one at a Goodwill bookstore. Got lucky on that one. Then we have Black Hammer, library edition book one. Now, all I can smell is that um, Swamp Thing book. It has a smell to it. I don't know why. I like it, though. I just don't know, understand. Then we come to my Avatar collection. Avatar The Last Airbender, The Lost Adventures, Team Avatar Tales. This one's kind of regular size. Then we come to the actual oversized, which is why they're on the bottom of the, of the stack. Uh, we have The Promise, first book. I'm missing one. I don't know which one it is, but I, but I recently found out that I have uh, six books, and there are seven. And I'm just like, why am I just now finding out there are seven of these? Uh, the Search. Again, really, this is a really... It, these books are a really good continuation of the show. Showing what happens in the world afterwards. We, then it comes to the Rift. But like a lot of things like this, it starts off strong, and it kind of ends a little weak. I don't know. Apparently there's one I'm missing. North and South. And finally, imbal Imbalance. And that is it. That is the entirety, well, the entirety of the rest of my oversized hardcovers. You saw some others in last week's video with the, my update of, the bat, of my Batman collection. Next week I'm going to do another video that's um, going to be the books that I have on my dresser and my headboard. Some of these came off my dresser, and so I won't put those in next week's. But I'll do what's left up there, plus what's on my headboard. And then, in the last week, we will go, in the last episode, we will go into my comics closet, which, like I said before, has been reduced. But for now, that's all. I'm tired from getting all these books down, because some of these are heavy as hell. All right. If you like the video, give it a like. If you like me with my nasally ass voice, give me a subscribe. Thanks, everyone.